that there are difficulties within the media sector in terms of discussing elections. Because who owns the media? The media is owned by some of the, 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 you know, the critical players, the, the interested parties. The media, the media owners are the same politicians. So, so, so agreeing to a framework where we analyze the media role in this is difficult. And, and sometimes we are still called Gideri media because we privilege the Gideri man who was holding some Gideri on the line uh, you know, as, as the rest of Kenyans who are concerned about more important issues. So, so it still bothers us. I mean, so internally we are unable to discuss some of those difficulties. In 2017, for example, a number of Kenyans died. The media are all over. But we are unable to even uh, uh, give reports about who has died, yet we are people on the ground. We are waiting for the Kenyan National Commission of Human Rights to give the figures because we are afraid. And, and what you talked about in terms of the 4G network and so on, in the post-election period, we, for example, in Turukana, the situation was that even a small sound bite could not be, could not be, you know, could not be sent to Nairobi. Uh, I would probably want to hear from the IBC. In certain areas, how can Kisi or regions like uh, Bigori or a few other regions, which traditionally have better communication during elections than it doesn't have, they just can't submit things. What is that? Is, that, is, that, is it a conspiracy between IBC and CA? There are concerns around this because if that is not addressed, then that would be difficult.